We are going to review a fantastic program called Photomosh Pro. And what makes this software incredibly cool is that it is a music visualizer with over 50 individual graphic filters that you can apply to both a static image or a video. It is incredible. Let me show you this demo. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Fully customizable and highly responsive visuals that are easy to make for logo stings and countdown videos for your live stream. This software is absolutely killer. I cannot wait to show you how to use this amazing software. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. Photomosh Pro is a downloadable program that resides on your computer. It works just like the version that's online, except it has more stuff, obviously. And you can definitely use your webcam to bring in a live feed from your desktop camera. I can't do that right now because my editing software is using the camera. Now, you can't have two applications using the same camera. So we're going to load a file. Let me do that now. I'll click the load file button here, select an image. And I uh, just wanted to let you know, I just got back from the Pottsville frog leg eating competition. And lo and behold, my cousin Vinny and his beautiful wife Beatrice were there with their beautiful three-fingered sloth. And let me tell you, that thing can climb the hell out of a tree. And it was so great to see them. Look at those beautiful people with their delicious hair. It's been so long since I've seen them. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, so as you can see at the top of the image here, we've got this thing doing this, looks like a player that's playing over and over again. And the reason why that's there is because that's supposed to represent the music that will control the effects. So in order to get the music working so that we can have a music visualizer effect with the software, I'm going to go into settings and go into audio and click audio file and I'll click load. And let's see here. I'm going to select a song that I got from the YouTube music library. I've gone and spent hours and hours picking out the best songs from that library. And I found some really good ones. This one sounds like Herbie Hancock. I'll click open and it starts to play. Okay, I'll hit okay to that. Now, once you load the song, you can pause it at any time. If you click this little soundy thing here, it will mute it as well. So when I play, you can't hear anything, right? Upon you loading the music, now you can begin to experiment with all the fantastic filters that are part of the pro version. Now, I want to let you know that in the online application version of Photomosh, you only have about 30 filters, but in the pro version, you get just over 50 filters. And there are some really super cool ones. And I just want to review some of those. But before we do that, I want to show you how to control the effects with the sound. I've just created a really cool Google survey. And what it's designed to do is give you the power to tell me what topics interest you for OBS Studio and live streaming software. It's super easy. It's three questions. It'll take you just a couple minutes. And when I gather up all the information, I'm going to talk about the results and send it to all the people who have signed up to the 3D animated subscribe and bell giveaway. So if you're on that list, expect a results video real soon. Now, if you're not on the list, you can just go into the description and sign up. There's also a link to the survey as well in the description. So I can't wait to see you on the other side when we discuss the results. Mm. After loading your music in Photomosh, you'll notice that the song is looping too soon. So we need to fix that real quick. Go into settings. Click the video tab and you'll notice that the duration is probably around a couple seconds, three to four seconds. That's the default setting when you install this thing for the first time. Let's go into the Explorer here on my computer and I've got the song already selected and I want to dis discern the length of the music. It's pretty easy. Right click at the top header area, go into more and then scroll down until you see something called length. There it is right there. I'll hit OK and then it adds it as a column. It's three minutes and eight seconds long. Three times 60 is 180 plus the eight seconds. That's 188 seconds. So if I go back now and hit 188, I hit OK. And now when I play the music, the only time it loops is when it gets to the end of the song. Mm. Okay, let's talk about these parameters. And let me tell you, this is a digital playground that will suck you in, but I'm going to make it super easy so that you can wrap your head around how to do this quickly. Here we go. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about 
is your ability to sort of preview that how these effects work real quick. And you just click this little on off slider and it will allow you to see kind of a, a preview of how these things work. Now, if you click the arrow on the left, it'll clamshell open and reveal these little sliders. And this is what's being controlled by your music when we set it up. Some of these have a whole bunch of these sliders and some of them only have one. So let's go into one that's a little bit less complicated called bulge. So if we turn it on, it gives you this kind of effect, right? So let's turn it on. I'll click the arrow and bring it down. And here's the amount slider. Now you can control this manually, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you all the different ways that this can be actuated automatically. So click the waveform icon on the right and it reveals even more parameters. So you can see what I mean by getting sucked into this thing because it's so much fun. The thing on the left, far left, type. This is where you designate how your music controls this thing. That would be the audio selection, okay? But you can do it with uh, automatic actuation with linear is one. There's another one called sine wave where it changes the speed. It goes back and forth. There's another one called noise where it just goes all over the place, I guess. Yeah, see how it's random? And it goes on and on and on. If you click none, it, it, back to you. You can control it manually again. So we're going to select audio. Then we have one called speed. This basically denotes how fast this thing moves, right? And after playing with it for a while, I've come to the conclusion that it really doesn't have much of an impact on how things look when you play with it. So I kind of leave it alone and just leave it at two. I don't really touch it. The factor is interesting. Let me turn on the music real quick. And basically it's almost like an amplification of the movement. So if you set it down to a low setting, it won't move at all. And if you bring it up higher, that effect is way more dramatic because it's going from zero to 100 all the way full scale. So it's kind of a amplification of movement over time. So let me bring that back down just a little bit. There we go. Let me turn this off. Now chance basically randomizes the movement in regards to the factor. So you'll get a randomization of movement. And again, it's really not noticeable too much when you turn chance up and it's only zero to one as well. So it's, it doesn't have a, a huge impact on how things look based on my opinion. But that's generally your parameters for each parameter under the primary effect. Cool. Okay, let's review some of these. I want to go through the best ones. I'll turn the music on right now and we'll just go through them. Here we go. Okay, transform. Check this thing out. It does this duplication thing that's kind of wacky. Luna Mesh. It does this three-dimensional analysis of the photo and pulls out some of the elements as if they're coming towards you. You can reverse it by doing Luma Invert and it sucks it in. I think this is a really cool one. All right, the next one is Decimate which does just that. It just sort of like rips the image apart into segments to the music. Super awesome. Next one is Feedback. This one's okay. It's interesting. Kind of like a psychedelic thing. Bulge is what we reviewed before. Slices is like a TV effect. I don't know how good it is with the sound, but it is doing it to the beat. Jitter is a, almost like a glitch effect, which is really cool. Melt, which I think is interesting. Uh, here's one called Wobble, and it, I think this would be neat if you had a static image of someone dancing or maybe like a motion gif that would make the image dance to the music. I think it would be really cool. Shake, which would be like an effect you could apply to a building or something. Bad TV, which actually makes it look like TV to the beat of the music, which is cool. Soft glitch. This one's really cool. It actually looks like it's a space warp to the music. Hard glitch takes it to the next level. Smear is really off the wall. I don't even know why anybody would want to use it, but it's wacky as hell. Tile is interesting. You can't make out what the photo is, but it does give it this tile effect. Pixelate is neat. Then they have a pixelation effect that's similar called Polar, which sort of like circularizes the pixelation. This one's neat, it's called Posturize. It just sort of brings out a, a, the colors in a simplistic manner, almost like it's a, a simple GIF. Dot Matrix is, is off the hook. Solarize is cool. Edges, I think is really neat. It's like a cool strobe effect. 8-bit, which gives it kind of a 1980s look. Halftone, newspaper effect. Tilt Shift, this one's cool. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Lino Cut or Lino Cut. Rainbow effect, which is like a color effect, RBG shift. This one's kind of almost a hybrid between a color alteration and a um, just like a randomization of color. It's kind of weird. Kaleido, 
This one's neat. Overlay. This one's kind of cool. You can change how the image, the two images dance with each other. If you click the additive, it changes it and shows it in a different way. I think I like it without additive, which is cool. And the next one is barrel blur. I like this one. VHS effect. It's applying these to the music. Super 8. It's another one. And those are my absolute favorite filters. And if you want to see how to apply these to a live stream using OBS Studio, check out this video right here. It describes how to create a live television effect for your live stream. It is wicked cool. I hope to see you in the reveal of the survey information. Sign up to get access to that information and make sure that you click the link below to fill out the survey. Best wishes to you. Stay strong and keep fighting.